Hey everyone, I'm Dan and I'm building this Expedition truck. In this video, I'm going to give you a rundown on the electrical system that I'm going to be connecting to my batteries. So thank you all for watching and let's have a look. This is the system. So this is a 24 volt system. I went with 24 volt because for starters, the truck runs on 24 volts. So it makes it a little bit easier to charge off the trucks, uh, off the alternator. And also it reduces the cable size a little bit uh, and it's just a nice voltage to work with. So I've gone with 24 volt. It's, <clears throat> it's a Victron system. As you know, Victron's highly regarded. They've got good warranty, good customer support. There's plenty of components and it's really good quality. It is quite expensive, but you do get what you pay for. Now, I didn't put this system together personally. I, I probably could have, or I could have come up with something, but it wouldn't have been anywhere near as good as what this is. I. I paid an electrician who works in this sort of thing to assemble it all for me. And it's just the, the finished product is so much better than what I could have come up with. It's all really neat. The connections are all really nice. It's all labeled perfectly. He was able to advise me on, on what components to buy and you know how to, how to put it all together. So sometimes I think it's just easier to pay someone to do what they're good at and you spend spend time working what you're good at to pay for someone else you know it's it's it just works out better that way sometimes so let's have a look at the individual components for starters we've got a 5000 watt inverter this is this takes power from the batteries and turns it into 240 volt it also takes 240 volt and charges the battery so it's a, an inverter charger it's a multi plus two it's a 120 amp charger and a 5000 watt inverter so that is a really good quality unit it's pretty big and it's pretty heavy but it can crank out the power it's more power than i think i should ever need hopefully over here we've got two dc to dc chargers these are orion tr smarts they're set they're both 17 watt chargers and they are connected in parallel the reason i've got two is just to increase the overall wattage so two 17 watt chargers in parallel makes you know 33 watt and these take power from the alternator and charge the battery bank while we're driving over here we have two solar charge controllers 100 by 50 and 100 by 30. Uh, the electrician that did the work advised to use two chargers because two smaller chargers is cheaper than one large one uh, it gives you a bit of redundancy it's easier to find faults it keeps the the operating temperature down a little bit and victron charges can be monitored as one unit so that's why we went to do there is, there is some other reasons but that's they're the main ones uh, over here we have a 24 volt uh, distribution box a little fuse box here so i can run all my dc cables cables from here and we got a servo gx so the servo gx is like the brain of the system it allows everything to be monitored and it connects to a little screen where that i'll be able to keep tabs on everything inside the truck and this is just a little tank monitor so i can monitor all my tank levels with this over here we have a fuse point for the alternator so this this is the positive going into the dc to dc chargers we'll just have the positive coming from our uh from our crank batteries we'll go to this and then that'll go to our dc to dc chargers and then down here we have two Lynx distribution boards. So I'll just take, I'll take the covers off these and we'll have a look and see how it all works. Alrighty. So basically all these distribution boards are is just two bus bars. We've got this is the battery negative so we've got two 70 mil cables coming 70 mil squared cables coming from the battery that connects to there then that takes that negative and put, and goes through this channel here and comes down onto this bus bar at the back that's a negative bus bar so so all the negatives for every component run off this bar bus bar and then for the positives we will have three uh we'll have one one cable coming from each battery and that will run down one, two, three, will run down onto this positive bus bar. And the, the positive cables for, for all the components will run off this. So you can slide these covers off 
and you can see there's the cables inside there. So the positive cables are just come up through the floor, run through this channel, and then one, two, three, come down. The same with the, the negative, that'll come from the battery to here, and then these two 70 mil cables go in to the negative bus bar in there. And we use two 70 mil squared cables just to increase the capacity. And he has, he's done a really good job. He's labeled everything on the on these covers so you know when that goes on there you can see what e what each cable is I highly recommend doing that and then the last thing is the this little 240 volt uh, fuse box here so we've got the inverter output oh sorry we've got two inverter outputs and we've got the inverter input so these will go to the power points inside the truck. I'll just be able to run um, run one or two cables from here and then just daisy chain the power points together. And then we've got the inverter input. So we'll be able to plug 240 volt into uh, the power point on the outside of the truck and it will power this whole system. Another handy thing with these Lynx distribution boards is that uh, there's a fuse, an inline fuse between every positive outlet. So you don't have to worry about fusing everything, although I'm still gonna have fuses uh, at, at, on the positive cables just at the start near the, back, near the positive termini of the terminal of the battery, just to prevent any short from between the battery to the board. And that's about it. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you've got any questions about that, please let me know in the comments. I'll just show you something else that's pretty cool before I go. I picked up a neat little job the other day. So I've got, I know a guy that is building uh, an expedition truck, not not really like mine, but using the same the same um, chassis. So this is the cab of an FTS 700. This is the same cab that I've got on mine. And out here, behind all these cars, is the truck. So what he's done is he's bought this truck, but the cab of this truck is completely completely rusted away. It's, it's just gone to god. You can see the, the floor is all rusted out, everything's gone. So what I'm gonna do is respray that cab inside and then I'm gonna swap these two cabs over for him. Which is a nice little job. It's a, you know, about a, three weeks to a month work, worth of work. Should keep me busy and fill the coffers up for everything I need to do on my truck. And that's it for this week. Just a short little video. If you've got any questions about the electrical system, let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon.